Okay, so on the next page you will see the chart, how to cut your um, piece of fabric. Once you've cut it, you will fold it in half, right sides inwards, and sew along the side to close it. So here you see me sewing with a machine. You can also do this by hand, no problem. Always uh, don't forget the back tack if you sew with the machine to secure. So now we're just uh, closing the edge. And back tack again to secure. And now I'll be showing you a little trick of mine to have a neat and even edge every single time. So our seam allowance is one centimeter. So you um, draw the line at two centimeters, so double the seam allowance. And then you fold over until that line and pin into place all around. Repeat that for the top side as well. So the bottom side and the top side, and then you sew it. Easy peasy. <laughs> and again, do not forget the back tack when you start and when you end. And don't forget to take out the needles like I almost forgot. <laughs> Then you insert the fleece into the cowl. Um, the right side should be on the inside, so the wrong side is face facing the inside of the cowl. You pin into place, or as I am doing here, use clips. Do the same with the bottom, and see to it that your uh, the edge that you have sewn that it's straight. And pin it all. Now we will use um, a sewing technique by hand to have an invisible stitch. And here I use another trick of mine. Fold the thread in half. So you actually cut double the length you want. Fold it in half so you have a loop. You insert the ends in your needle so you have the loop at the end. Then you insert into the cowl, just a small piece, just a nib actually. Don't pull all the way through, just insert your needle back into that loop, as you can see I'm doing here. And now it's secure. No knots made, easy peasy. Take a nib out of the cowl, towards the uh, back side actually, not exactly on top. And then a nib out of the, the cowl you've knit. And then again a nib out of the fleece cowl, the lining. Again, not right on top, just towards the back. And after a few times you pull tight and that's how we sew the lining onto the cowl. You do that all around. I'll keep showing you here so you can understand. So 
it's not that difficult. And there's no visible stitch. See? Do that all around and repeat for the bottom part. So this is how it looks when it's all finished. Not too difficult, is it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or contact me through so social media. Here's the card you can see in my info. Thank you for watching.